Okay, let's look at spinal nerves more in detail. I said this before, but I want you to see, um, see this in more detail and really understand it. So you know, we often draw a neuron um, and talk about functioning of a single neuron. And you do also already know that these are, um, there's more than one neuron typically, wherever we're talking about, let's say this is spinal cord. And those all have axons that travel together in bundles. And that's what a, the octave axon terminals, that's what a spinal nerve is. This could be sensory instead. So if these are sensory, some sort of tactile receptors, um, a bundle of multipolar, so they all have cell bodies here, um, same idea. Bundles of axons are surrounded by a connective tissue covering. What do you think it might be called? Epineurium. Just like our epimyceum surrounds the largest level of muscle, um, muscle fascicles is what it surrounds, a group of mus muscle fascicles. So neurons, um, just like muscles, have the, kind of the same layers. They, have, they actually have fascicles. Um, they have an epineurium, a perineurium, and an endoneurium. Let's look at this in a picture that's better than what I can draw. Here is a cross section of a spinal nerve. In this case, happens to be taken right next to the dorsal root ganglion. And this entire shebang here, this is our spinal nerve. And so this is our epineurium that I just showed you in the other picture. Um, right up to here. It's like just cut off there. So the outer connective tissue um, layer. Let's jump in to the smallest layer. So that's our axon. So myelinated axons, here's our axon surrounded by Schwann cells. This is the peripheral nervous system. Um, make up that myelin. So all this blue stuff, um, all these blue things, what are, what are they? They're axons, right? A nerve is a bundle of axons, you can see it. Those axons are surrounded by myelin, myelin <laughs> Schwann cells, but they're also surrounded by endoneurium. That is right here surrounding the Schwann cell and then packing these all together, all this yellow, um, packing a bunch of axons into a fascicle. A fascicle is a group of axons, a neural fascicle. A muscle fascicle is a group of muscle fibers. Then a bright color here. Color. I don't know what color. Um, these fascicles are grouped together to form our spinal nerve, right? And then those fascicles are going to be surrounded by perineurium. So that's perineurium right here, perineurium all between here, packing together separate fascicles. And then also here, right, if we take off the epineurium, blood vessels are located in the, the perineurium um, packing as well. I don't really care about um, a ton of this anatomy besides to really have you understand what a spinal nerve is. And so that is consistent with this learning check question here. Um, this is a cross section of a nerve. In reality, this is a cross section of a single fascicle. So this would be the perineurium right here. I don't really, um, I don't really care that much. <laughs> Let's, I want you to know what these things are. If we are zoomed in to the smallest thing we can see in the spinal nerve, this right here with that, what is that? Um, in reality, multiple fascicles would be bundled together to make up the whole spinal nerve. Okay. Learning check six. Please label these things on this picture. Um, to turn this in, you can either take a snip or a screenshot of what you've done online, or if you print this, um, 
and you want to take a picture. Some of you draw detailed notes. You could draw, take a picture of that. But I do want to see your um, labeled picture, please. 